Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joy Grace and recently I took a two week trip to Japan for work. Um, and while I was there, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to do some uh, J Beauty shopping. So the first store I went to was Takashi Maya. It's this huge department store, probably 11 stories. They've got everything in the world. And for cosmetics, I was specifically looking at Jill Stewart brand, which is super popular. There was a line to even get uh, served and waited on. Um, as you can see, she's got some beautiful uh, eyeshadow palettes, beautiful blushes. Uh, the packaging is super luxe. These are nail polishes. And um, you see some primers as well as some blushes, uh, lots of different options. So next, I wanted to check out the brushes, and those are made in Hiroshima, which I wasn't able to visit, but Tokyo does have a Hiroshima shop, and as you can see here, they had many different brushes, brush sets. A lot of these were outside of my price range, um, but because they were like over $500 for a set, I think some of these were 90,000 yen. Uh, but just look how gorgeous these brushes are and the detailing on the handles. All right, so next, um, where I focused and spent a lot of time was uh, drugstores. And as you can see here, um, look at these eyeshadow palettes. Don't, doesn't the upper right shade look like the Huda Beauty, um, those kind of uh, shades she's got in her palettes? I thought that was unique. So who, who came up with that first? Uh, did she copy them or they copied her? Um, but anyways, the drugstores I visited, I uh, went to um, some that were like a Walgreens CVS, but with greater selection, uh, and then Mega Don Quixote was the other one. This is the more Walgreens, um, or the one that reminded me of there. Uh, so CanMake is a popular Japanese brand, and um, so I knew I wanted to try something from them. Look how pretty these eyeshadow palettes are. A lot of the eyeshadow palettes have glitter in it. Uh, so I kind of um, steered away from that because I don't like to wear glitter. Um, but the blushes were really pretty. Yeah, so these are uh, their glow floor brushes, uh, blushes. And they had a ton of different options, as you can see, uh, for shades. And look at Shiseido. So they had these eyelash curlers for 800 yen, which is like about six US dollars. And then the refill pads were 100 yen, which is like 68 cent. So, a fraction of the price of what we can get it for even on like Amazon. This um, brand I just showed there is also a, a, um, a sub brand of Shiseido. Lots of eyeshadow singles from different brands I noticed as well. And Etusay, so that was a brand I hadn't heard of, but their um, packaging was cute. And there's me in the mirror. <laughs> I already have enough K Beauty uh, foundations and BB cream, so I, I really don't need any more. But um, they had a, a lot of different options for that as well. Just look how much selection there is. The entire second floor of this uh, drugstore was devoted to cosmetics and skincare. Lots of eyelashes too. Um, fake eyelashes, uh, contact lenses as well as huge over there, um, like changing their eye 
shades. Oh, and look at this brand. Um, this is Clio, so this is a K-Beauty brand, but I loved those little eyeshadow palettes. And you'll see a larger one that I ended up purchasing later. Misha, another popular K-Beauty brand. Even their K-Beauty is cheaper there than it is on like Amazon. The other interesting find are these nails. So those are the Dashing Diva gloss palettes, basically the nail stickers that we can get over at like TJ Maxx, Target, um, basically anywhere here in the States. But the price on it was like equaled about $11, $10, which is more expensive than like TJ Maxx. So I didn't end up purchasing any there. And then for their fake glue on nails, um, I noticed that they were uh, a lot smaller to fit their smaller nail beds. So that was another interesting, um, interesting thing about it. This is getting more into the skincare section. And then this wall also had makeup. So the other big parent brand besides Shiseido is uh, Kaneba, Kaneba? I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they have different sub brands as well. Um, I thought these eyeshadows were pretty. And these I was especially intrigued by. You'll see me gravitating towards several displays of those. Really pretty eyeshadows. And I liked that they have everything displayed and covered up so you can at least look at it um, and see the actual palette in person. So this I couldn't figure out what it was, if it was a blush or a highlight. Um, I, I think it's a blush, but they had different um, options and I just thought it was very pretty. Shiseido, maquillage. More singles. Me trying to figure out how to open it. Oh, the other popular thing is they have video screens at a lot of the brands that are constantly playing like their commercials and displaying their products. So especially in uh, the Mega Don Quixote, it gets really loud. Uh, so that's another reason I'm doing this voiceover is because it was, it was just overwhelming almost in the Mega Don Quixote. This brand was popular Free Plus, um, another Canabo brand. And this Dew brand, I saw at several different places. Feel free to pause the video if you're interested in any of these products and what the price is. One interesting thing that they do over there that I wish we did in the States is their prices include tax. Um, so... As a tourist, you can get tax-free purchases. Um, so some just, you show it at the register and they don't add in tax. Others have a specific counter you have to go to to get the 10% tax back. Look how pretty this palette is. It's like an entire box of antique shades. And this was in Mega Don Quixote. I don't know why the lighting on this specific row of products was flashing. Um, so I apologize for that. But these were too pretty to cut out. I loved those butterfly palettes. But as you could see, there was like actual chunks of like almost confetti <laughs> in them. This Excel brand was also very popular. 
um, lots of eyeshadows and blushes to choose from, including, um, well, here's some highlighters. But they had a huge range of blushes to choose from. Um, this is just one of the shades. Here's some of the rest. Really pretty shades. Uh, this is a facial brush that I ended up getting. As you can see, it's 500 yen, so... Uh, you know, less than five dollars. Here's more skin care, cleansing oils, um, uh, regular face cleansers. This must be really popular, but the Perfect Whip that was the in the blue and pink packaging, that was like front and center at every uh, drugstore. They have individualized packaged cleansers for traveling. And then this brand was really popular, um, Naturi. Uh, that was pretty much everywhere as well. Very affordable, as you can see, less than $5. This Jill Lean brand, I have never heard of it, but they had pretty uh, stuff, very pretty packaging as well. Catkin, another brand, but look how pretty the outer packaging is. This is at a different drugstore, but they had those same butterfly palettes. And if you're a cat person, they had these I thought was interesting. Each one has a different uh, breed of cat on it. Uh, <laughs> so kind of funny. This is the I'm Meme brand uh, that we're pretty much well familiar with in the States. All right, and that is my video. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping with me. And if um, you're interested in seeing what I purchased, make sure you subscribe and keep a watch out for future videos where I'll go over everything that I purchased and my thoughts on them. Thanks for watching. Bye.